This SMP behind me claims to be the perfect Minecraft 1.18 seed with a beautiful naturally generated valley and villages. Well, this is the story of how I ruined the entire server just to prove a point. You see, the server's goal is to create a peaceful civilization within the valley, and I was told they all wanted to beat the dragon together. But nah, I wanted to beat the game myself, on my own. To prove to all of you guys commenting that I'm kind, that you're wrong, I'm not kind, stop saying. Since I joined late, I knew players on the SMP would be stacked with items, but to get to them, I first needed to climb over the massive hill into the valley, but I had an unexpected boss battle against, get this, Snow. Powdered Snow is a brand new 1.18 block and it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It looks, uh, it looks, uh, well behaved, right? So hey viewer, why don't you, why don't you step on it? Oh, you're sinking into it and getting slowly suffocated? Too bad. bad. Because that's exactly what happened to me as I tried to climb up the mountain to get into the valley and it was not fun. Dude, I'm actually freezing! That traumatic experience taught me to be more careful with the 1.18 terrain on the server, but I was only led to more disappointment as I found out that not every player was stacked, which led me to a moral dilemma. Do I steal these players? players measly iron to fulfill my obligation of beating the game or should I be a good human being? Theft it was, I have no time for humanity on the quest to beat the game. So while I quickly mine for hours using the power of editing so I'm fully prepared for the nether, might I remind you to subscribe and even if you are subscribed just check again. There's a glitch going around that causes you to unsubscribe. No there isn't, I'm lying to you. Listen, mining for hours in the giant brand new caves in this update was torture and during all that I was in voice call listening to my friends sing songs in Chinese. Super idol the Zongrong, Zhongmi Mi the Oh my god, this is the last thing I need. Listen, before the Chinese pop music took over my goddamn mind, I speed ran the nether and got the rods I needed, but I noticed somebody had already been here. I left and now had the blaze powder I needed and as for the enderpearls, the answer was, as always, simple. Capitalism, theft, and genocide. But then came the next problem. You see, with limited enderize and a super weird 1.18 terrain that has caves over caves over caves, it was going to be really annoying to find the stronghold, and I have the worst patience in the world, so what do I do? <laughs> I threw just one eye of Ender, asked the owner for spectator mode, telling him I just need cinematic shots, when in reality I just wanted to find the stronghold with all my eyes intact. Scam success! You just got swagged. Time to beat the game, right? Wrong. I completely forgot that the achievement shows up in chat. The owner was now onto me and I got teleported back to spawn and temporarily kicked from the server. I was back to square zero. But with every setback, gentlemen, comes a blessing and being reset to spawn meant I found an ally to my cause in total and I used my superior business skills to convince him to beat the game with me. Yo, beat the game with me or I'll, or I'll end and your family. Uh. Fine. Anyway, we geared up at his base and started off to the stronghold whose coordinates I managed to screenshot just before being kicked a while back. Big brain moment. But before continuing, we found out that the owner was digging a tunnel through the valley. So we decided to pay him a little, a little visit. <laughs> Take a step back. Why was I doing this? Was it right to beat the game? Should I even continue? Why am I doing this? To fulfill my questions, I asked the place with the most morals. Discord. And like the devil on my right shoulder, the Ashwag Discord server told me to just beat the game and not think about morals. Thanks guys. If you are interested in being a devil, join the Discord server. <laughs> the both of us were almost at the bloody stronghold when we saw a boat approaching us and turns out Mr. Onaman Rene was following us the entire way. <laughs> Who would have thought? Why are you following us? We ask. I want to beat the game with you. <laughs> So I had another moral choice. Let the owner beat the game with us. Be a friend, a good person, be kind. I think we take him all the way to the end, lead him on and kill him at the end. Okay, here's the situation. Both of us wanted to beat the game, but the owner was right there and wanted to come with us. So we needed to immediately throw him off our trail. Our first plan was to make him go into the portal first, then break his bed so when he dies, he'd spawn way back at the valley, giving us enough time to take out the dragon. Well, that didn't work because the man was stubborn and very suspicious of us. I don't really blame him. Which is when I said, screw it. I broke the bed while he was looking the other direction, typing out a message and then did this. Come, come fast, 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 fast. What? Bad, bad, bad. I'm, I'm changing the. Move, move, move. Okay, go back, go back. He doesn't know. I pushed it! I pushed it. We were in the end game. Now that he didn't have a spawn, we had to make sure he accidentally died in the end. So I thought of everything from lava to enderman ambushes to void traps and basically everything to make it look like it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I even try anymore? That horribly sus arrow shot from Turtle pissed off all the wrong people and guess what? We were immediately racing against time. And after the most stressful three minutes I've had and the most dodgy end fight ever, the job was done. Yes, sir! <laughs> I proved myself to all the comments, right? I'm not kind. Or am I? You see, one thing about secret SMP dragon beating that a lot of people overlook is what happens afterwards. I could not just leave this place behind because there's so much more to be done. I had to face the owner. Hey. Uh, I know... We weren't supposed to beat the dragon, but I hope with this token of appreciation, we can start a new, a new era of the civilization to new beginnings. 
So I guess you guys were right. Maybe I just don't have it in me to be the menace I think I am. Maybe I was kind all along. Maybe I. Hmm. Let's take over this place. <laughs> <laughs>